The waters at Raystown Lake are calm now, but that could quickly change. That's why emergency teams are preparing for the worst. Debbie Novak and her daughter Alexa are enjoying Raystown Lake for some mother-daughter time. We're here this evening because it's National Bird Week and the ranger is going to take us out on our kayaks and I guess we're going to go bird watching. So we decided to do this together as mother-daughter and we'll see how that works. They say with weather changes and other dangers, lots of things can happen when you're out on the water. That's why they're prepared. We got um, the vest, we got the whistles. We also have our cell phones on us and like waterproof pouches. So if um, we would have to call for help or an emergency, we have our phones. More and more people like the Novaks are taking up recreational water sports. It's a trend Joe Thompson with Huntington County Emergency Management says he's seeing at Raystown Lake and one of the factors why they're responding to more water rescues. There's been everything from uh, drownings at Racetown Lake. There have been jet ski accidents. There have been boating accidents on the water. That's why five local emergency agencies are coming to Lake Raystown on Saturday morning to practice water rescue drills. If someone's in the water, how to rescue them out of the water and put them on a boat. If someone needs to be transferred from a boat onto a rescue boat, if someone's on a boat, and we need to get them transferred onto the land for further transport. The drills will prepare them for real life situations and prevent a tragedy on the lake this summer. Thompson says the emergency agencies hope to bring in more gear for future training like a state helicopter to practice emergency water rescues. In James Creek, Huntington County, David Kaplan, WTAJ News.